Hi. I'm Dalton Grego. And this is Edgar Rios. And this is his vlog. Good morning, people. What is going on? It's your boy. Okay, let me not do that. Anyways, um, so it's week number two. I got class at 9.30. It's 8.42 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my roommate is awake. He wanted me to wake him up before I leave. gonna head to the calf to get some food. I got a mat. No, I have a climatology test today. I'll fill you guys in on how that went. I think I take it. I feel super tired. I went to sleep like at 4 a.m. yesterday playing a freaking game. Don't do that if you're a college student. But let's leave now. That way we have time to go to the calf and get some food. And yeah, let's go. I take the back every day, watch all my niggas go fuck up the bay. Bitches be all in my face, I tell them to get out of don't come back again. My niggas in it to win, run up some bands, they gon' blow it away. No, I ain't come here to play, so this shit is not a game. I take the back every day, watch all my niggas go fuck up the bay. Bitches be all in my face, I tell them to get out of don't come back again. My niggas in it to win, run up some bands, they gon' blow it away. No, I ain't come here to play. So this shit is not a game. I take the bag every day. Run up the spit with gang. Fuck as you saying. Stuck in my bed, then I fly out to Cali and make it again. Call me J Ben. Bitches be coming and going and on. Like, where is your man? What is your plan? I'm counting up and not giving a fuck. I'm collecting the tuck and I'm locking it in. Gang, gang, gang. Alright, you guys. So I just got through my first class. Um, it was math. My math class. My, the earliest class I have throughout the week. Um, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, we have a, we just did some reviewing for the test we have on Thursday. Um, I don't know, tests on the second week of classes. We just kind of expect it, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got a break until probably like about 1.30 in my next class. So I got a package in the housing office that I got to go pick up. And it's most likely my medications from my doctor. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and then I'm going to head back to campus to, um, study for my climatology exam. I'm kind of excited to head back to the housing office. I used to be an RA, oh shit, something on the lens. I used to be an RA here on campus, so I'm really, uh, I'm kind of friends with everyone who works in there, and we kind of built a nice little relationship. And uh, it's exciting to go back in there. And it is snowing, it's really white out here. So I'll check in with you guys uh, when I start studying, all right? I'll see you guys then, all right? Peace. I just got back from the housing office, but on my way back up, I met with um, the public relations guy from here because I'm trying to be a bridge between the studio that I'm trying to work for plus the school. That way we can probably get a teacher from the studio up here. So me and him just have a, had a little discussion based on like what we, th things that needed to be done in order for that kind of thing to happen because they're both two separate institutions. You got the dance school and the college. Now I'm sitting here with my homie, Elicia, she's Hi. yo. Show your face in there. Come on. Who are you? Who are you? Elicia. Introduce yourself. Come on. What What do you do? You di what you do is a pretty big deal. Like you swear it's nothing, but I swear to God, you're. Go ahead. I'm not even gonna say it. You say it. Well, I dance for a professional AHL hockey team called the Utica Comets. She's a Utica Comet dancer. And yesterday I danced nationwide on NHL Live. You see, like, I just danced on an show live. It's no big deal. I literally hate you. And before I spoke with her, I talked with a guy named Austin Green. He's interested in being a model. And I literally just sat there and preached to him for, like, 30 minutes. And he had so many questions on, like, being a model, a runway model, photo model. So it's complicated, all right? If you guys want, I can do an entire video on talking about that. But just got some really exciting news here. The flyer for the workshop class that I'm doing. Can you focus on, please, 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 please? Okay, this camera is just so focused on me, and I appreciate that. But I want to show you guys this. It's dope as fuck. It's gonna be on my Facebook page. If you're in the area, Herkimer, Utica, New Hartford area, I would definitely recommend taking this beginner hip hop class. It's gonna be really fun. Elicia actually 
help help me make the choreography. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited to find be finally be teaching at an actual studio. I'm looking for probably about like 25 people. If I, if I can get 25 people to show up, I think that'll be a good mark. I got a nice little segment coming up at the end of this video that I'm really looking forward to. So I'll check in with you guys then. All right. Peace. I took my climatology exam and I failed. Your boy failed the test. First test, already blew it. I, just, I wasn't really prepared for it. I, I'm from the city and, and he was asking us about counties upstate. And yeah, I don't have those memorized yet. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know. I told him about it and he said it's okay. We're gonna have nine more tests. So that one doesn't really even matter. So at least that's a good part. Just agreed. Yo, Meek, save it up, ugly. <laughs> right now, I'm on my way to the bookstore to try and get some new headphones because your boy needs some new headphones. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys once I get back to my dorm. I think I'm going to nap before I do the next segment. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys then. Yeah, that's a fact. Niggas be talking about where they be at. Gotta stay focused, yeah, I am on track. This is monopoly, run to the cash. Grab it and put it right back in the stash. All of my brothers, they in it to win. All of my brothers be getting it in. No, I ain't coming to play. Oh, you do not a game. No, I ain't coming to play. I change the back every day. Watch out, my niggas go fuck up the bank. Bitches be all in my face. I tell them, you got it, don't come back again. My niggas in it to win. Run us a band, they go blow it away. No, I ain't coming to play. Oh, this shit is not a game. I take the bag every day. Watch out, my nigga, go fuck up the bank. Kids in the yard in my face. Alright, guys, what up? I'm with my boy Joey here. Log one. Um, I just woke up from like a like a four and a half hour nap. I went to sleep probably like around four in the morning last night. It's pretty funny. I couldn't sleep, so I stood up playing the game. And I had a 9 a.m. class, so. Yeah, you can only imagine how tired I was. If you, have, if you don't have me on social media, my Facebook name is Edgar Rio, same as the vlogs. And I posted a Facebook status saying, Comment your favorite quote to be mentioned in my next vlog. Joey and I are going to go through the first... All right. Ooh, as long as they good. Alright, we're going to go through the first ten. And then we're going to mention you. And we're just going to talk about the quote itself. Some of them might be easy. Some of them might bring us into deep conversation, depending on how... Those do, and we'll determine on whether we're gonna keep going or not, alright? Oh, first one goes to Day A. Oh, this is Day Sean. Why can't you just put your name? Damn, it's Facebook, bro. <laughs> That's my boy. Yo. Look at his. his the... Oh, I get it now. Day, like day. Okay. You see Day A? This guy's good, man. But Day, because it's Day Sean. His quote is To live doesn't mean you're alive. Big fact. What do you think about that, Joey? That's a fact, cause I I heard I heard like a some of the connotations of that. It's a difference between living and existing. If you exist, you're just there. If you're living, you're actually like doing something. I agree. Quote just reminded me of a quote that I learned in uh, my English class, and she says some people get so caught up trying to make a living that they forget to actually live. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I. I can. I can go in too far in depth with that. Yeah, it's not. So, it's really just self-explanatory. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's really not. one of those like kind of straightforward quotes. But Dave, if you feel like you wanted it, like us to go in depth with it anymore, comment below what you think about that quote. What that means to you, if you really want us to talk about it. The next one is Catherine Victoria. Shout out to you, Catherine. Um, I think I remember you. You were friends with my older sister. You're dope as fuck. And it says, yeah, oh no, it says, I don't try to fit in. I don't in. try to fit in because I was born to stand out. Uh-huh, right. That's a good one. That's a good one. And I don't think that, like, the generation where a lot of us try to be normal anymore, you know? Right. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel like we all try to show that, oh yeah, we differ from the rest. And that's what makes us all the same. That we, we constantly... Ooh. Quote is from one of my dancer friends. Her name is Ariella Cohen. She's dope as fuck. Um... Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. So if I gotta go by that, because we heard it before, the easiest roads usually don't have a, a rewarding reward, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not like, really okay, that rewarding. If it was that easy, then everybody would do it. If everybody can no. do it, then there's not enough reward for everybody. But if you taking that difficult ass road where you tripping on rocks, you stumbling. Everybody like, nah, you ain't gonna make it, you ain't gonna make it, man. You see how high that fucking mountain is? And you make it to the top? 
Don't stop there. Just find the bigger mountain. Right. Eric Thomas. <laughs> I was also thinking, like, a difficult road, like, doesn't always lead to a beautiful destination. It, I like how it says often because it's not always, that's not always the case. Meaning, like, what you think might be at the end of this road, you think it might be as beautiful, like, really beautiful, but then sometimes you might realize that it's not as rewarding as you really think it is. So, like being some rich people, and fam- being yeah. famous, you know, some people think that that's just the, that just answers everything. Oh, but a lot of the times, it just brings up an entire chunk of new problems, you know, and, yeah. And The Next You're Out by Michael James, owner of the, my talent agency. I, I, I personally can relate to that as an artist, as a dancer. Um, you never know, like, when it's show, like, my high school teacher, if she's watching this, she's gonna laugh. It, it's showbiz, you know? If you get into, if you frustrate someone, if you don't, if you don't click with someone, everyone's replaceable, you know? And I feel like that, that's in all fields, you know? You're really replaceable. A lot of times people don't realize that they're expendable. And they get carried away, whether if it be with their egos or just trying too hard or not trying enough. And people, yeah. That's, yeah. I don't know. I'm just go, I'm just talking. Let's keep going. So Joshua Vera, he's like a brother to me. He commented, "Don't be what you're told. Follow your own path. Be your own person, and don't get held down by everyone else. Don't be what you're told to be. Follow your own path. That's dope. And be your own person. I think I think that's a really interesting quote to bring up, especially nowadays. Cause like I feel like. Humans in general, I wrote a paper about this. Uh, I feel like humans in general are just like walking mirrors. Uh, we are like an embodiment and a reflection of what we see gr- either growing up or like in our neighborhoods or what we see on TV. I feel like we're all that to a certain extent. And I feel like uh, people don't really start to become their own person until their final years of high school and maybe even after college. Because I know I'm not the same person I was when I was in high school. I'm not saying being a, a mirror is a bad thing because that's inevitable. You know, you have to be when you're growing up. Yeah, I feel like you see. Works. Yeah, it's just how it works. But there's some people who are really lucky that get to follow their own path and be their own person at an early stage in life, and those are the type of people that are at an advantage. So, so the second week of school is officially done. Um, I hope you guys like the segment of us talking about the quotes with you guys. Um, I am desperate to bring bring value to these vlogs besides just showing you guys how I live my life and just bringing you guys <clears throat> along. Yeah, I hope you guys really got something from it. Again, like I said before, comment below if you interpreted any of the quotes any differently. Let's make this a conversation this week. Um, I got some homework to do besides that on top of editing this video. So I got to get to that like right now. So I'm going to end the vlog here, right? Today's history, tomorrow's a mystery, and that's why it's called the present. Let's go. Like every day, watch all my niggas go fuck up the bank. Bitches be all in my face, I tell them to get out of don't come back again. My niggas tend to win, run up the bend, they go blow it away. No, I ain't come here to play. No, this shit is not a game. I take the bag every day, watch all my niggas go fuck up the bank. Bitches be all in my face, I tell them to get out of don't come back again. My niggas tend to win, run up the bend, they go blow it away. No, I ain't come here to play. No, this shit is not a game.